It's my pleasure to introduce today a very exciting product, ProBio. You heard I've been working in this area for the last 16 years, so to see it come so far is a pleasure for myself. So I'm going to tell you a bit today about how we manufacture probiotics, the technologies like microencapsulation that we use to protect the probiotics, my research in probiotics, and then a little bit about the human system and how ProBio can help improve your intestinal tract, help improve your health overall. Areas that we work in are global. We have offices and production facilities around the world, and I'm very pleased to be joined today by Mr. Stephen Yao, who is here from your country, beautiful country, Malaysia. So we have a variety of facilities across the world working on the research of probiotics. And this is just one example of our facilities here in, in, uh, in, that, we, that we use in, to look at the fermentation of, of probiotic bacteria. The process is quite well regulated. We begin with a pure bacteria culture and we grow it through larger and larger stages until we achieve a very large fermentation of a scale of 30,000 liters. Then we remove the liquid from the solid or the biomass, the bacteria, by centrifuging. And then we dry the biomass by freezing it, removing the water under vacuum. This is a process called freeze drying. And the powder, or when the dry material is removed, we must grind it into a powder. And then we can blend it with other materials and other bacteria to make a product such as the ProBio. It's at this stage that we apply our patented technologies, like the microencapsulation that I'm going to tell you about very shortly. And we put it into sachets, such as the ProBio product that you have, we'll be selling. And then we will warehouse this before it is shipped to the distributors. This is an example of the fermenters that we use. This is a small research fermenter, about 300 liters in volume. And these are some pictures of the, the actual microbes that you will find in the ProBio product. There are two lactobacilli. You can see they're quite different in shape and structure. There's a bifidobacterium longum, and there's also the yeast, the Saccharomyces boulardii, which I'm going to give you a bit more detail in, in the following slides. And I, I would tell you about the lipid or the microencapsulation technology. This is a process where we can coat individual particles of the probiotic powder with a fat. This fat will spread across the surface of the particle, completely encapsulating it. So that if you look at the interior of the photo at the bottom, you'll see the cut away the particle. We can see on the inside is the probiotic bacteria, and on the outside is a coating of fat which will protect it from the stomach acids. And that's very important, as you will see. These are a picture of our research facilities that we share with the government of Canada in Montreal, my city. And these are some of my staff, hard at work to bring very good products, uh, like the ones that, that Elk and ProBio will promote. In my research, I'm interested in three main areas. Uh, modeling, gastrointestinal modeling, to see how the probiotic bacteria will survive through the stomach and the intestinal tract. You're interested in host response systems. That means if I give a bacteria, a pathogenic bacteria or a probiotic bacteria to a, to a person, how does the body respond, specifically with the immune response? And third, we want to understand what is the bacteria doing when it's present. So what is its mechanism of action? Does it adhere to the human cells, make bioactive compounds like vitamins and, mineral, uh, vitamins and essential amino acids, and does it regulate other functions in the body? Also, I work with some very well-known researchers throughout the world to look at the impact of our probiotic bacteria in animal models of disease, and then I take this into clinical studies with various 
researchers in hospitals to understand if the bacteria will be effective in preventing or treating certain diseases. So we hope to find natural solutions by which you can maintain and restore health in areas such as intestinal functional and, uh, and functional disorders and diseases, in the immune system, and also investigating women's health issues. Now, the human intestinal tract is colonized by a large number of bacteria. In fact, it's very important that we, when we are born, we are born without bacteria primarily, but as we uh, are introduced into the world and we begin to grow, this uh, bacteria begins to populate us, and it's a very important for our natural development. If we didn't have our bacteria with us, we would not thrive like we do. So we have about 10 times more, uh, up to 10 times more bacterial and bacterial genes in our body than we have humans' uh, genes and, and cells. This is about one and a half kilograms that reside within our intestinal tract. And over our lifetime, we'll defecate about 6,000 kilos of fecal material, half of which will be bacteria. So it's very important to have this within us, and, and we will see that in, in the following slides. In our intestinal tract, we have various bacteria. Some are good, some are bad, some are neutral. The good bacteria help us to break down our food that we consume. They produce vitamins and minerals and, uh, excuse me, vitamins and essential amino acids that are essential for us. And they suppress the growth of pathogenic bacteria. And we all know what path pathogenic bacteria do to us. They damage our intestinal tract, they cause infection, they cause putrefaction, which causes bad smells, they can cause inflammation, and a variety of other undesirable traits. So bacteria such as E. coli and Salmonella and Clostridia, I'm sure you've heard of these before, or maybe had infections yourselves, uh, these can cause diarrhea, gastroenteritis, urinary tract infections, all serious, serious uh, acute infections which can lead to long-term chronic diseases as well, including uh, cancer and ulcerations. So the commensal flora, or the flora that exists within us, is a delicate balance between the, on one hand, the pathogenic bacteria and the good bacteria. And we must keep that in balance at all time. If we lose from the good bacteria, we lose the balance and the pathogens take over. And this can occur very commonly through changes in our diet, so poor diet or poor lifestyle. Diets which are high in fat and high in carbohydrate, but low in fiber. Stress, and I don't think there's anyone in here that doesn't suffer from stress, either for a new job or children causing stress, as we all know. All these things can change our microflora. Aging, as we age, our intestinal microflora change and we become more susceptible to infection. And of course, antibiotics and other medications, and I'll explain that in more detail. So antibiotics, although they're prescribed commonly in our hospitals and by our doctors, are not specific. They will kill the good bacteria, the friendly bacteria, and the pathogens. And it's not just the medications that were prescribed. They're also in our foods, and they're in the environment through sprays, and any other antimicrobial products that you might see in the market today. So how can we maintain this balance? What is the solution? Well, we believe that the solution comes through probiotics, like the ProBio that you will have to offer. So what are probiotics? Well, probiotics are defined as live microorganisms which, administered in adequate amounts, confer a health benefit to the host, to you. They must be alive when administered, they must be well-defined, and that's work that I do in my laboratory, to define the microbes genetically. They must have proven health benefits, and that's more work that I do in my laboratory. And they must be safe for use, and that's probably primary importance for everyone. So it was great pleasure that today that I can stand here before you and talk about the ProBio, the probiotics with patented microencapsulation and heat resistance, even up to 50 degrees Celsius. So the ProBio has the world's only patented lipid microencapsulation technology. 
I've been working on that technology for the last 15, 16 years. It has 6 billion bacteria. That's the dose per, per serving. That's a lot of bacteria. It contains five microbes, five distinct microbes that work in synergy to promote good balance. It has many clinical studies on the, on the, on the microbes, and it has years and years of research, 70 years of, of research that my group have been working on in this area and, and the probiotic industry has been working on. This all comes in one very nice package. And this microencapsulation technology is very important. It allows the microbes to resist heat up to 50 degrees Celsius for eight hours. That means you could go away and leave that in your car and come back and it will still be a good product. A lot of the other products on the market you cannot use like that. They have to be refrigerated. So this is a very big advantage. Secondly, this microencapsulation allows it to bypass our stomach defenses, the stomach acidity that would normally kill most probiotic products on the market. So you can get past the natural defenses and deliver the bacteria to where they're needed, the small intestine. And third, this is very important for Malaysia because it's very humid here. <laughs> the probio will protect against the humidity, the moisture that's in the air, and allows it to withstand a 24, more than 24 months stability. Most probiotics on the market will not survive in the humidity. That's why they're kept in the refrigerated. It's not just the heat, but it's the humidity. So if you compare the probio to other products that you might have heard about in the market, like the culture drinks or the other supplements that are available, they really do not survive passage through the intestinal tract. And this is something that we see in our intestinal modeling and our clinical studies all the time. That probably less than four or less than five percent survive. In many products, less than one percent survive in the normal types of products. But with the probio, you'll get a hundred percent delivery into the small intestine. And that's very important for the health benefit. So this product contains, as I mentioned, five microbes a yeast, a Saccharomyces boulardii, which has been shown to treat and prevent uh, antibiotic-associated diarrheas and acute gastroenteritis, acute diarrheas. And I'm sure that there's not a single person in this room that has not had an acute infection of, at one time or another, uh, uh, food poisoning or what have you. The bifidobacterium, the B. longum, we have shown that will reduce, infect reduce infection and reduce inflammation in the body. Inflammation such as you see associated with chronic diseases such as ulcerative colitis. And the three lactobacilli are very important. They help us digest our food to improve our nutrient absorption. They have antimicrobial properties to remove bacteria such as H. pylori which causes gastric ulceration. E. coli and salmonella, and they can also modulate the immune system, helping to, again, create a proper balance between your outer body and your inner body. So the probiotics have been shown to alleviate the symptoms of irritable bowel syndrome, so that's pain and, and, uh, and bloating, gassing. They've been shown to alleviate chronic and acute diarrhea. They've been shown to remove the GI symptoms associated, or the gastrointestinal symptoms associated with stress. They prevent microbes like the Helicobacter pylori uh, from growing or relapsing, so to reduce the chance of gastric ulceration. They help improve the skin uh, rashes and eczema associated with food allergies. And overall, improve the well-being, well, the general wellness, by improving better bowel habits, and that is certainly impacts how we present ourselves to the world. We feel better about ourselves. We will interact better with other individuals. So you might ask, who will benefit from this product? And I say everyone, from the pregnant and breastfeeding mothers who want to make sure that the baby is going to have a proper microflora so we'll undertake the challenges of its uh, in adulthood. Women, because improper diets can also lead to 
bloating and distension of the stomach, and that's not popular with any woman that I know. Men, of course, we tend to eat a lot of meat and large quantities of food, so we tend to have a lot of gassing, so that will help reduce the gassing. Students who are under a lot of stress and may have some fears about the school or being in public and using public washrooms, these will help better control the bowel movements and our better stress response. And seniors, because we are losing our bifidobacteria as we age, we in turn lose our immune response. If we can provide bifidobacteria and lactobacilli to help improve the immune response, we will reduce the chance of infection in this growing population. So we recommend for the adult one to two of these sachets per day. It's very pleasant to take. It tastes a natural peach flavor. Very easy to consume. It can be consumed at any time throughout the day. Unlike a lot of probiotics that you really need to take with meals. With children, it, we should use up to one to uh, or, or one and a, or one half to one sachets per day. And for infants, so you know less than three years, uh, half a sachet will be fine. A and this is important because. Other supplements are capsules, and you can't give them to children or infants. So this is a very important form for uh, the, the children, which really need these types of products. So I'm very pleased, once again, to say you now have ProBio in Malaysia to restore the microflora, balance the overall GI health, and make, hopefully, a much healthier, happier population here because you are already such warm and wonderful people and I greatly appreciate my time amongst you. Thank you very much for your attention today.